the USA Championships are over in 2023. And right now, we have a brand new national champion in the 100 meter and the 200 meter dashes. But if you were watching the preliminary heats, there was a sprinter in both of them whom nobody ever expected to see on the track. Cause Sam Blaskowski made the USA's in each event, which is a very big deal for any sprinter. But it's an even bigger deal when you realize who Sam Blaskowski actually is. He is an NCAA Division III athlete right now. And the D3 level is famously the land of no athletic scholarships. That includes Sam. Yet he's way better than almost any sprinter you'll find, not just at the D3 level or even in D1, but in the entire nation. So how did an athlete this good end up at a school that couldn't even offer him one dollar of track and field money? And the truth is wilder than you could ever imagine. First things first, Sam Blaskowski actually belongs in Division I, and I'm talking before he came out of high school. He was a soccer player back then, who also competed on the track and ran 1083 in the 100 meter dash, along with 2199 in the 200. Those times were good enough to win a Wisconsin D1 high school state championship and land him on Miles Split's second team national elite list. Those times may not be good enough to get him recruited by the Wisconsin Badgers in the Big Ten, but there are a lot of smaller Division I programs who would have loved to add Sam to their team. And any time an athlete wins that much in high school, it is a great sign to college coaches that you have way more potential than anyone's given you credit for. So nobody really knew just how fast Sam was yet. He hadn't been in enough races with sprinters who could actually push him. And since the University of Wisconsin at Madison didn't seem to be that interested in him, he chose the University of Wisconsin at lacrosse in NCAA Division III. Their mascot isn't the Badgers, it's actually the Eagles. But to clarify, they are a Division III track and field powerhouse, and they finished top five in the nation, three years in a row. A run that started before Sam even got there. But the moment he did, he ran way faster than he ever did in high school. Cause as a freshman, he won the D3 National Championship in 10.29 seconds. And his 200 wasn't far behind because he ran 20.80. In case you were wondering, that's legitimate D1 level sprinting. And had he taken his talents to that level, he would have won a whole lot. But simply put, Sam Blaskowski was not supposed to be this good. Because if he was, the Wisconsin Badgers would have recruited him in the first place. And as a sophomore in 2023, he took it up a notch where he was no longer just outrunning everybody in Division Three, He was also outrunning most of the athletes around the nation. If you were paying attention, you should have noticed him indoors because he was at the USA Indoor Championship meet in the 60 meter dash in the final. He finished fifth overall in a meet where he was not only the only Division Three athlete, he was the only one who wasn't at the very least actively in D1 or running as a pro right now. So after that, it shouldn't be a surprise that he won the Division III National Championship in the 60 meter dash. And when he went outdoors, he breezed past everybody. The only time he actually lost a race to a Division III opponent was in the Division III National Championship Final for the 200 meter dash. But that was to an internationally affiliated athlete who will be representing Cote d'Ivoire in the World Championships, and he ran 20.25 to earn that right. And I shouldn't even have to say it, but I'ma do it anyway. Sam Blaskowski won the 100 in 10.13 seconds, win legal. And he did all that as just a sophomore in college. So the question now is the same one it was two years ago. Just how fast is Sam really? He was under-recruited in high school, because nobody had a legit answer. But right about now, we're starting to get a good idea. And Sam Blaskowski, Mr. Division Three, is the real deal. And he is one of America's best sprinters. He could choose to transfer. And I'm sure the transfer portal would go nuts if he did. 
but he seems to plan on staying in Division 3. But Cordell Tinch is proof that it really doesn't matter what division you're competing in. Because if you're good enough, you only really need one lane to run in when the USA Championships go off. Sam has already gotten that far, and he's used to being underrated. But one thing is for certain, that there will be a lot more D1 athletes, and even a few pros, who will lose to a non-scholarship Division III athlete. And Sam Blaskowski has every intention of being the reason why.